as you may be aware, brewing espresso is a very expensive hobby and the machines can cost up to a few thousand euro. That's why many people, including myself, go for much cheaper alternative methods such as Aeropress and V60. But what if I would tell you that you can use the very same Aeropress you already have at home to brew espresso-like coffee? So today I want to tell you a bit more about Prismo from Fellow. So you might be wondering, but wait, doesn't Aeropress already brew espresso like coffee? And the answer is no. The inventor of the Aeropress, Alan Adler, says that it's actually an espresso brewer, but the reality is that it doesn't allow you to generate enough pressure to brew espresso like coffee. Fellow Prismo is some sort of a solution to, to this problem, but only to a certain degree. So first of all, it's an attachment for the Aeropress that you screw onto it instead of the provided basket. Here in Germany it's around 30 euro, but I think in the US it's like 25 dollars or so. So first of all you have this very fine metal filter that on its own provides a lot of resistance already. Second you have this silicone seal that prevents water from dripping uh, from the sides. And the third thing is the basket itself where you have this pressure actuated valve that allows you to generate all the pressure that you need to brew espresso like coffee. And the valve is kind of similar to what you can find on cycling water bottles. And a little spoiler here, it's still not espresso, but the results are actually not that bad. Now let me show you how to brew coffee using Prismo. So first of all, you have to grind 20 grams of coffee and you want to grind them at a very fine level, same as you would grind them for espresso. So I set my Commandante grinder to 9 clicks, but I would recommend you trying out between 8 to 11 clicks or so. And in case of Prisma, it's actually better to use darker roasts, which is usually intended for espresso anyway. But in my case, I was using this Ethiopia Sasaba from Bonanza, which is Berlin coffee roastery, and it's one of my favorite coffees ever. The next step is to put the metal filter into the Prismo and screw it onto the air press. I also like to pour some boiling water so that everything is warm and prepared for brewing coffee. Then you can just pour the ground coffee into the Aeropress's chamber. Now you can start the stopwatch and pour 50 milliliters of boiling water. Right after that, stir for 10, 20 or even more seconds, depending on how extracted the coffee you want to get. Next, put the Aeropress's plunger onto its chamber, but do it gently so that you don't open the valve at the bottom. At one minute you can press the Aeropress, and here you will have to use a little bit more strength than usual. And yeah, there you have it. That's how you make espresso-like coffee using the Aeropress and the Prismo. And depending on the beans that you're using and for how long you start, you may even get some crema on top. And what you get out of it is this very dense shot, but still not nearly close to what espresso is. And if you're a person who likes to drink coffee with milk, you might be thinking if it's a good option for you, and I would say yes. What I like to do is to use this cheap milk foamer that I got at Amazon for like 20 euro. I heat up milk to around 55, 56 degrees, foam the milk and pour it into the cup. And yeah, the, the coffee from it is actually quite good. The question is if you should actually get the Prismo. If you already have the Aeropress at home but you wish that you were able to brew espresso coffee with it, then I think it's actually a good option. It's not nearly as expensive as getting yourself a very expensive espresso machine and it provides quite decent results. But if you're looking for true espresso coffee then I would say it's not really an option for you. You can either start saving money and get yourself a nice machine or get something like Mocha Pot, which in my opinion produces results that are closer to what espresso is. On the other side, if you are already happy with the Aeropress and the coffee that you get out of it, I would treat Prismo more like a, another brewing method. And that's exactly why I got it. I don't use it as my primary brewing option, although once in a while it's very interesting to use it with different types of coffees. I prefer filter coffee and I almost never drink coffee with milk, therefore I just treat it as an additional option in my setup. And I really appreciate that I don't have to spend so much money to get an espresso machine just to have one cup of espresso once in a while. So yeah, there you have it. This is all that you have to know about Fellow Prismo. If you have any questions you can always leave them in the comments below or just ask me on Twitter. And if you'd like to see more videos on coffee and technology, welcome to subscribe to the channel down below. That's it for the video, thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Honey, I made some coffee with milk, do you want some?